that, that was a very noble uh, activity. What was he, 65 when he biked across the country? Well, he was over now, he was in his 80s when he did his that. His 80s? Oh, last yeah. Trip. yeah. <laughs> Early 80s, yeah. I'm going to practice. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what, let's turn to page, uh, teacher, right? <laughs> turn in your textbooks, please, to me. <laughs> Essential factors in artistic and visual communications in the process of creating. Uh, it is my opinion that artistic and visual communication effectiveness is achieved when the following basic factors have been addressed and somewhat accomplished. Let me put that in there because it's hard to accomplish them. It takes a while to do all that. But they follow the acronym of E I I U. M-I-C-A. Uh, if you can pronounce that, let me know and I'll give you $50. Could you use a line? Yes, ma'am. Sorry. I tell my students to interrupt me and uh, when, I, when I'm not clear. Uh, the first one, uh, the word in the acronym is engage. I believe that uh, before you or I begin a work, you really have to be engaged. You want to be able to come into a room where you're going to learn something and really be engaged. Wanting to get some knowledge, wanting to uh, get the best that the teacher has to offer or the person that's demonstrating. Uh, but inquisitive, inquiring, uh, passionate, for wanting to learn something. And I think if you're not engaged, it's really, really difficult to learn. And uh, as I have felt in the past that many, many students uh, come expecting little and they get little. Uh, because if they don't ask me any questions, then I don't answer. I mean, I can't, I don't know what they're thinking. Is that correct? Is that okay? Maybe I should take it to my phone. <laughs> uh, the second word is uh, being, uh, when we look at something we're going to draw or paint, we need to isolate that particular subject matter or form from everything else that we're looking at. We need to uh, identify it. We need to be able to distinguish the characteristics of that form as the person that's going to interpret that form. And then the next point in the letter is understand. Uh, we need to clarify the essence of the subject. What, uh, what, to communicate, what, what do we want to communicate about that subject or that form or that model? That's still life, that's landscape. Uh, some of you looked up before the, the sun went down, and there was one person, Joy, who was at the door, and I happened out of the corner of my mind to see the beautiful orange pink color against the blue, turning green as the sun went down. <coughs> Very exciting. Uh, but um, what do I want to communicate about that landscape? What do I want to say? Do we want to say something that we've said before? Do we want to say something that it's exactly like what we saw in the photograph. Do we want to interpret it in a different way, in a very exciting and beautiful way? And then the third thing is, uh, fourth, uh, fourth thing actually, fifth thing, is to manipulate, explore the potential of the subject using the elements of art. That is to say, draw it with line. Think about the space and the shapes of it. Uh, think about color. Think about texture all the time. Be thinking about that. Let them let that go through your mind. Be serious of it. Be a serious, a serious student about using the elements of art. That's a language with which we speak. And I believe if, if we fail in some respect to really engage those elements at, at the most, at, at, the, at the highest capacity that we're capable of, <coughs> then we lose something. We lose something. What do I mean by that? Well. Let me slow down because I'm getting excited. <laughs> uh, it means that I really want to search out 